What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy JRY and today I've got a very special video for y'all. Today I'll be comparing two Battle V boxes, the Blastoise VMAX Battle Box and the Venusaur VMAX Battle Box. I was able to pick up these two boxes on release date, March 19, 2021, but I've been saving them for a special occasion and today is that day. So without no further ado, let's break into these boxes and see which one comes out on top with the better hits. Before we start ripping into this product, let's just take a moment to appreciate the art design of the outside work on this Battle V box. Here we've got the Venusaur VMAX Battle Box, a really cool art design showcasing all the contents inside. Flip to the back, right here we got a full art design of Venusaur. Get solar powered with Venusaur VMAX. Tells you right here all the contents inside, one foil promo card, one oversized card, some card sleeves, four TCG booster packs, and a code card for the TCG Online Gaming. And up next, we got the Blastoise VMAX Battle Box art design. Really, really cool as well. Showcasing all the contents. Loving this full art design of Blastoise. Ride that wave to the wind with Blastoise VMAX. Again, it comes with one foil promo card, one oversized card, some card sleeves, four Pokemon TCG booster packs, and a code card for the TCG Online Gaming. All right, everyone, so let's kick it off by opening the VMAX Venusaur Battle Box. He is one of the original three starter Pokemons from the Kanto region, the original vanilla Pokemon set. This is one of my favorite Pokemons. He was so strong. He was basically the easy mode of the Pokemon game because he would last you all the way up to when you would face Erica, the grass trainer Pokemon. He would destroy Brock, destroy Misty at Cerulean City, hold up a pretty good fight versus Lieutenant Surge. It's a very hard box to open. That is a very shiny, very awesome Venusaur VMAX card. Here we've got the code card that comes with this. There you go, you're welcome. Let's appreciate this Venusaur VMAX card. Full art card, very awesome design. This card looks very clean. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up, protect this card. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for these Battle V boxes. I'm a very big fan of the original starter sets, the Kanto region. Those just bring back so much memories. Growing up as a kid, these were my favorite cards to collect as a kid. There we go, all nice and safe. Tap it a few times. There we go, VMAX Venusaur. Let's leave it over here for the moment. Here we've got the oversized foil promo card. 
same design as the regular size, but it's just in a giganto form. <laughs> Very cool. No damage, no whitening that I can see. Very awesome card. Here we've got some sleeves to go along with this Battle V box. This is exclusive to this Battle V box. These other Battle V boxes do not come with sleeves. This is a special one. These have the design of Venusaur on the back. Very awesome. And here we've got one, two, three, Four booster packs. We got two battle styles, one darkness ablaze, and one sun and moon regular theme set Pokemon booster packs. All right, so let's start it off with these four booster packs from the battle V Box Venusaur V Max set. Right here, we've got the battle styles. Go ahead and open it up and see what we got inside. Start off with the code card. There you go. One, two, three, four. Let's get lucky. Be right. Right here we got a leaf energy. Level ball. Single strike energy card. Luxio. Salizopede. Very cool card. Ball toy. Timber. Watch out for those trees falling. <laughs> Corfish. Cacnea. A reverse hollow carnivine. Ooh, non holographic rare edge slash. Mm. Not so good with the first booster pack. No worries, we still got three more. Another battle styles. Let's see if this one has got more luck and a better hit than that last one. So far, all the battle styles that I've been opening up hasn't had many crazy hits. It's been a fairly good ratio of non-holographics and hollows and ultra rares. I haven't had a chase card come out yet, so still looking for one of the chase cards. All right, let's start out with the code card. Scroll of Swirls, Cacturne, Rapid Strike Energy, Blip Bug, Silly Cobra, uh, he looks more like a sad cobra to me, <laughs> Licky Tongue, iconic Pokemon, would not want to be licked by this Pokemon. Houndor, one of the doggo type Pokemons. Horsey, Reverse Hollow Crobat. Now this one seems like a very strong card. Look at that wing attack, 100 damage. Evolves from Golbat. This is a very cool card. Now right behind this, We've got a non-holographic rare Centiscorch. Mm. So not a very good hit so far for the first booster packs from 
the Battle V-Box Venusaur. Not looking good for a Venusaur battle set. Maybe we get better luck with the Darkness Ablaze Pokemon Booster Pack. code card leaf energy puppetar pokemon breeders nurturing fletch hinder teddy ursa very cute Pokemon. Teddy Bear. Pan Seer. More Lul. Wishy Washy. Can't make up their minds. Hmm. Dano Dino. Dano. Dino. Hmm. Killing its name. Butchering it. <laughs> A reverse hollow. Sir Fetched. Really liking this Pokemon. He's got a shield and a sword for a bird Pokemon. Very cool. Reminds me of Link from the Nintendo games. Behind it, we've got a non-holographic rare Darmantian. Darmanitan. Not looking so good for the Venusaur Battle V-Box. No hits so far, and that's three booster packs down. Last one up, we got Sun and Moon. Let's redeem ourselves, see if we can get a hit. Start off with a code card. Fighting Energy. Steeny. Spinda. Potion. Stuffle. Togetamaru. I think that's how you say it. Togetamaru. Alolan Grimer. Psychic. Formantis. Cosmog. Reverse Hollow. Oranguru. All right. What's behind this card? Ooh, another dud. Non-holographic, rare, toucanon. A toucan parrot. Hmm. Not looking so good for the Venusaur VMAX Battle Box. No hits from four booster packs. The only thing that we got was the Venusaur VMAX promo card and honestly I don't mind because this is a very awesome card I want this in my set and no matter that we did not hit it's still a very good card so let's go ahead and move on to the next battle box which is the Blastoise VMAX and see if we can redeem ourselves up next we got the Blastoise VMAX battle box unfortunately we did not hit anything from the Venusaur VMAX Battle Box, but that's no worries because we can still redeem and make some good with this Battle Box. So let's go ahead and start opening it up. Blastoise, one of the other starter Pokemons from the Kanto region. He was probably my most picked Pokemon starting out when I played the game. One of my favorites. He was 
pretty strong. He was what you would call normal mode, as you could play and dominate Brock as the first gym leader. But once he got to Misty, it was water versus water. And then he had a lot of trouble versus Lieutenant Surge, as Lieutenant Surge was electric and he would own any water type Pokemon. So, and then he would get owned by the grass trainer Pokemon city gym so he was more like a normal mode wasn't too hard but nonetheless a very nice Pokemon to start and play with Let's get the code card out of the way. There you go. This is a very awesome looking card. I love this design of Blastoise. I'm liking that right there, showcasing his cannon from the back of Blastoise. This is what made Blastoise so unique was that he had all these unique designs on him. He was like a robotic Terminator Pokemon, <laughs> you know, just having all these guns coming out. Very, very strong. G-Max Bombard, 220 damage. Ridiculous. The back is pretty much very good. Centering's a little off, but no worries. I don't see any whitening. A very, very nice V-Max card to have. Let's go ahead and sleeve this guy up. He's really protected now. Let's leave him on the side over here. Let's check out this oversized foil card. Same design. Very, very shiny though. Look at all those streaks. Really loving this design of Blastoise right here. Very cool. All right, so just like the other Venusaur Battle Box, we got some sleeves. This one came with the Blastoise design. Very cool. Let's leave that to the side. Here we got our Pokemon Booster Packs. four of them, two battle styles, one darkness ablaze, and one sun and moon. All right, so let's try and redeem ourselves. Let's see if we can get some hits out of the Blastoise VMAX battle box. We're going to start off with the battle styles booster pack. So far, we've had zero hits with the Venusaur one. If Blastoise hits even just one card, Blastoise Battle V-Box takes the win. If not, it'll be a tie. And that'll be a shame because we opened up eight booster packs and did not hit anything if that was the case. But here's to hopefully getting better hits and possibly a super rare, ultra rare chase card. Hopefully. Here's the code card.
fighting energy scroll of scorn bisharp single strike energy electabuzz bell sprout bronzor murkrow horsey uh, reverse hollow Fero. really cool card and behind that we've got a non-holographic rare primate mm, single strike not looking so good so far battle styles you're upsetting me the pulls on battle styles are very lackluster so far like i said seems like the booster theme pack for this set just doesn't seem to hit as often or it's very hard to get good hits out of this battle styles here's the code card Lightning energy, Carcol, more Peko, Kevin Durant, Mankey, Slowpoke, Formantis, Rimoraid, Cubone, a Reverse Hollow Frillish. And behind that, oh wow, finally! Full art, Cricky Tune. Very nice full artwork drawing of this card. Looks like he does some damage. 80 plus X scissors, flip a coin of heads, this attacks does 80 more damage. Now that is nice. Finally one hit for the Blast Toys V-Box. And that's all we need to beat the Venusaur V-Box. As it did not have any hits, and Blastoise has one point. Let's go ahead and sleeve this one up. Not the best hit, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. A point is a point, no matter what. It's better to hit than not to hit. Let's go ahead and leave this on the side here. Go to the next booster pack, which is the Darkness of Blaze. Let's see if we can go two in a row with hits. We obviously went four in a row with no hits, so bound to turn some luck around and maybe get some more hollows. Psychic Energy, Kabu, Turbo Patch, Dartrix, Tauros, Diglett, Squovit, Shelmet, Panpour, a Reverse Hollow Sawana, one Pokemon. Very elegant. Behind that is a non holographic Hippo. Hippo Powden. Hmm. All right, no worries. We got one more booster pack left. Sun and Moon. Don't disappoint. Let's go.
All right, fire energy. Let's get some hype. Last pack. Let's go. Repel. Corsola. Professor Kuki. Kuki. Alolan Diglett. Metal type. Boom Sweet. Skarmory. Cutie Fly. Drowsy. Reverse Hollow Cutie Fly. Ooh, right here. A holographic Rare Vicavolt. I've pulled this one already. And this will be my second one, but no worries. This is two hits for the Blast Toys team. Let's go ahead and sleeve him up. Like I said, this is a very cool looking Pokemon. To me, he looks like a Transformer because he looks like a airplane jet-like Transformer Pokemon. Just the way that they designed him here. Alright everyone, so let's do a quick recap of all the pulls that we got today. Unfortunately, we were only able to pull two Hollow Rares from the Battle V boxes. That's just the name of the game. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. And it's good to reflect back on the pulls that you do get. Because when you do have them, they're exciting. And that's the reason why we open up these boxes. To start off, we got Vicavolt, Hollow Rare from the Sun and Moon set. This, to me, is the Transformer flying type Pokemon. Really cool design. Really liking this card. Up next, we got the Cricket Tune V Ultra Rare Full Art from the Battle Styles theme. This is a really cool card. He's drawn here, full art style, with his wing spread. He's about to do some damage with his X Scissors move. Really cool card. And here, we've got the Venusaur V Max promo. This is the card and the reason why you want to buy these Battle Styles. V boxes is because of this card right here, one of the original three Kanto starter Pokemons. Venusaur, one of my favorites. I'm loving this design of Venusaur. Really damaging move right there. 210 damage, G Max Bloom. Really awesome card. Up next, we got Blastoise V Max. This right here, I feel like, is a better looking card. I love the design right here with the cannon. He's looking like a Terminator because he's so robotic. One of my favorite Pokemons in the game. One of the original three Kanto starters. And one of my favorites. And the reason why I did this video and saved all these V-Boxes up to this point was because it was mail day. You and I was able mail. to pick up a Charizard V-Max from the Darkness of Blade theme set. This is the chase card from that set. It's such an awesome design. I love this card. Charizard is one of my favorite Pokemon from the Kanto starter Pokemons. He's so strong right here. G-Max Wildfire, 300 damage. He is what you would consider the hard mode when you played Pokemon growing up on the Game Boy because he had trouble contesting all the gym leaders all the way up until, like I said, Erica when she had grass type Pokemon and you would just dominate her. But... Like I said, one of my favorites. All right, everyone. Thank you for making it this far in the video. As always, I had a whole lot of fun breaking into all these products, showcasing you what's inside. If you haven't already, please check out my other videos where I do other product reviews and as well my personal collection where I showcase all the cards that I've collected ranging from Pokemon, Marvel, football, basketball, and soccer cards. If you like videos like this, leave a comment down below, smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification for future content coming your way. And until next time, take care, peace out, and I'll catch you later.